Hello everyone, um, in today's session we're going to discuss a very important concept and once you understand this concept you'll be very good at troubleshooting EMI and EMC related issues and this, I, this concept we're going to talk about is structure resonance okay as we mentioned in the past that structure resonance is perhaps the number one root cause of many uh, EMI related issues things like inductance and capacitance when they are connected together they form a, what we call LC tank circuit which means that once you have a strong energy source that can energize this structure then the structure will radiate hence and there's an emission problem and the same is true for immunity if a for example ESD strike hits the circuit it will resonate and often that resonance will cause function failure of a circuit so in this session we're going to demonstrate the concept of loop inductance okay and then we're moving on to demonstrate the concept of parasitic capacitance and then next we're gonna connect the L and C together and then show you the resonance frequency and towards the end of the discussion we're gonna show you using a immunity example okay to show you the impact of this LC resonance circuit and how bad it could be uh, in real life engineering and uh, the equipment we are going to use for today's demonstration is this tech box VNA okay so it can do from 1 Hertz to 6 gigahertz also it has the body function as well but for today's discussion we're only using the VNA function and again this unit works with their software which is showing on the laptop there without further ado let's start today's session given a loop of a wire okay so here pay attention to the word I said a loop of wire because that's important for calculating the inductance so given a loop of wire we can use a rule of thumb which is for every one centimeter of the wire we can estimate the inductance to be 10 nano Henry okay so if you look at this wire loop so if we say one two three four five six about seven to eight centimeter long given this structure so the inductance by this rule of thumb should be about 70 nano Henry or 80 nano Henry okay six to six let's call it six to 80 nano Henry given the uh, the structure of it is so now we're gonna put this into our test equipment which is the VNA and the VNA has already been calibrated okay so for this kind of uh, impedance measurements you need to perform a one port calibration so which we are not going to demonstrate in this video but basically you do short open and load calculation uh, calibration on this port okay so now it's plugged in now we're going to look at the impedance performance of this uh, uh, inductance first so moving here you can see this immediately plots the impedance of this inductance to help you I also place three markers at one, 200 megahertz, 300 megahertz, and 400 megahertz. So as you can see, that the impedance value significantly increases once it comes to higher frequency. So for example, at 300 megahertz, this loop of wire gives about 200 ohms. 200 ohms, that's a big in impedance, isn't it? Um, so the beauty of using this VNA is that it actually also can give you the plot of inductance. Okay, so already set this up, and you can see this is the inductance value uh, we we sort of calculated at 200 megahertz is about 83 uh, nano Henry. Okay, and as I said, this value will change, but roughly you can see if I slot the inductance value. It gives me about 60 to about 80 nano Henry. Of course, when the frequency uh, increases, um, the impedance increases, therefore there's uh, some uh, a difference in terms of the inductance value. But we can use, let's say, 80 nano Henry as a uh, starting point of this uh, loop wire. Okay, so this is the setup to measure the capacitance formed by these two metal plates you can treat them right so um yeah you can see the construction of this structure right simply two copper tape both sides conducted and um so this plate down here okay 
has the same potential as the coaxial um, shield, whereas the center conductor is connected to the other uh, plate. So they form capacitance, and um, yeah, we are measuring the input impedance of this structure and uh, here shows you the results right this is the impedance of the capacitance so currently we're using um, input impedance measurement and this gives you the ohms value okay um, this is a linear display so that's why you can see that you know the capacitance value really drops and here gives you three different frequencies i chose 200 megahertz 300 megahertz and 400 megahertz you can see um, down from 300 megahertz, the impedance dropped uh, to about 50 ohm. So you can appreciate uh, uh, the impedance of, of uh, this uh, structure, let's say. Now the beauty of this particular instrument, this tech box VNA, is that actually it's, uh, it simplifies the calculation. So, you know, I can also plot capacitance value, okay? So that gives me the capacitance value of this structure so you can select um, a model you want to build in this case i treat this as a rc in series but really you know you know the r it will be pretty small so i'm looking at the capacitance value in this case so it gives me the calculated value of uh, about 8 picofarad to about 12 picofarad across this frequency range pretty steady okay um Okay, so that's uh, the capacitance value I got from this uh, structure. This setup shows you how I try to look at the resonance frequency of this structure. Okay, there are two plates forming the capacitance, right? And again, with our green and yellow wire linking the two. And you can see the bottom plate here, the bottom plate here, basically is connected to the same as the coaxial shield okay that gives you this potential and then the center conductor is connected to this bit of the uh, uh, capacitance so one on positive one on negative as you can see and by doing this uh, I can then perform a input impedance plot right which is showing here okay so you can see that this is the plot we got from the VNA you can see at the resonance uh, frequency, which is 221 megahertz, the impedance reaches almost like 7,000 ohms, very large value, okay? And that often indicates what we call a high Q, meaning this circuit is very, is highly resonant, highly resonant. Without significant damping, this circuit may be a problem, especially at 220 megahertz. That's its natural resonance frequency. With the LC resonance frequency then, well, let's put into uh, the value. So we know that inductance we uh, look at is about 70 nano Henry, right? It's, we said between 6 to 80 nano Henry. So I put 0 0.07. The capacitance value from the previous uh, experiments, it shows about 8 to 10 picofarad so I put 8 picofarad and then the resonance uh, frequency is calculated to be 212 megahertz not far off right not far off um, and the equation as you can see is just 1 pi 1 over 2 pi square root LC very simple math here in this setup you can see we still have the uh, two well the, the two plates form as a capacitance and the little loop wire form as inductance and so we know that this is an LC tank circuit. And this in this setup, you can see that I'm clamping a current probe on the green and yellow wire so that I can measure the current going through that uh, green and yellow wire. And the current probe is connected to the oscilloscope with 50 ohm input impedance. Now, what I'm going to do is to use a fast pulse okay that i can generate using a uh, esd gun and i'm going to apply a voltage on the plate we know that esd basically will generate a very high frequency pulse and the idea is to look at the current waveform that is generated on the green and yellow wire to see the resonance impact of of this structure okay so i'm gonna do a uh, 0.8 kV contact discharge. So let's see that. Okay, so 
you can see there is a uh, you can see that the the waveform uh, showing on the oscilloscope. So let's have a detailed look. Okay, so let's have a look. I can move the cursor. Okay, so roughly I'll place the cursor in sort of um, where the two peaks are. So let's go to cursor bx. I can move this to here. So yeah, roughly you can see the ringing frequency um, of the uh, the waveform, the resonance, and shows about two hundred and seventeen megahertz. Okay, two seventeen megahertz. To summarize, in today's session, we look at the uh, LC tank circuit and how to sort of estimate the inductance and capacitance of such circuits. We also validate the results by using VNA and also calculation. And finally, we look at the uh, uh, impact of a resonance circuit from the immunity point of view. So we hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you like it, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, uh, we are thinking of launching some very expensive interesting training program perhaps due to do with pre-compliance training uh, high speed measurements or emi design so if you have any uh, suggestions or, or or interest or you you think you like the course please do uh, get into contact thank you very much